Hi, it's April 9th. Welcome back to the garden. Not only do you have to be patient, sometimes you have to be flexible. I took a look at the long-term forecast. Doesn't look good. They're projecting 32 degrees by Sunday morning. This cold snap is going to be a little colder than they thought. Anyhow, I've got a few cleanup things that we can work on. It was a record heat yesterday, so I mowed. Nobody wanted to see that. But the results of that are some green piles behind me. We'll set up the new compost pile. We'll look at some succession planting. We've got some potatoes that I got from the store. A few of the companion planting and some of the plans we have for that this year. We'll just plan for next week when we can start putting the bulk of the material in. You notice I'm using my nice new cattle panel. You know, I'm uh, thrifty, not cheap. Better stuff from last year. Add the ki kitchen scraps. Throw on a little bit of leaves on top of that. Come around, get some of the green. And we just mowed. That's more digging. And that's more digging and turning than I ever do. But we've got the new one set up. As we mow this year, this entire corner will get filled up. And when that's all full, I'll do what I did last year and start going around the edges. I've already started to do that. We'll go take a look at that next. Now, I hope you took notes because you got to do it exactly the way I just did it. <laughs> you just sort of make a pile. There you got a little evidence of an armadillo who thinks he can come in here and uh, eat our worms. If you remember back on Ruth Stout, when she said, how much did you put down? She said more. It's already starting to break down. Especially fresh green grass. And I did get quite a bit of leaves in there, but you can already see it's already started to mold. It's starting to work, which we like. This edge was a little thin to begin with. I just want to put a nice little border around it, we'll fill in where he's been digging. If you saw some of the earlier videos, you saw how thick I've had this. It's already reduced down quite a bit, so don't be afraid to put this on thick, especially around the edges. Since his nose is on the ground, nice little snoot full of chili powder, that'll make him uh, think twice. You only have to go up to the fence. That's got the bigger hole. The rest of the fence should keep him out. Bought some cooking potatoes, put them in this Tupperware with a little bit of water, and they've started to sprout. So what are we gonna do? Let's plant. Also, out of the bag of baking potatoes, got a few that were sprouting. So if the store is going to give you some potatoes that are ready to go in the ground, put them in the ground. Put them in a pot. Set them on your back porch, on your balcony. They'll grow. Turn one potato into several. Worms. Now I know what that uh, armadillo was after. Garden's just crawling with worms, which is what we want. Take some of this good, fresh yard clippings. It's already warm. Scatter over the top also. Hater, hey bear, told you it would work. Going. There you go. 
We'll see what we get. As in the previous videos, if you get a hinky feeling that it's getting a little dry, put just a little bit of water on top, especially the seeds. What I'm going to talk about today is companion planting. In this area, we've got trellis up. We're going to put tomatoes as soon as it warms up. We're going to have strings coming down. We're going to train the tomatoes up those strings. A great companion plant is carrots. Now carrots go really well with peas and tomatoes. So we have our peas over here, our tomatoes will be over here with basil and thyme. So right now we're gonna put in carrots along this entire row. We wanna make sure we're down to soil before we put the carrot seeds in. Just pull some of this mulch back. Now remember the peas are planted right up next to the wire. All right, let's do what Ruth did. Scatter some seeds. Now you can verify. I scattered it and I patted it. Why not? For the rest of this, I'm not going to be quite as root stout. How many carrots can you watch a guy plant? Well, to this point, this many. Jimmy, that was funny. We've got quite a few squash of different sizes, different types, and pots that I intended to plant this week. But with the weather being the way it is, we're gonna have to wait till the middle of next week. So, let's put a few se couple seeds in the ground. The spaghetti squash. I mean, why let a trellis go to waste? Spaghetti squash does very well on trellises. We'll come up. Then we can see which grows faster, the stuff we pre-started or the stuff we sowed directly into the ground. We're gonna run this same experiment with butternut squash. Put a couple seeds in the ground and see what we get. Or slightly cover them up. This is the way I do it. I know I'm doing it wrong. Y'all can tell me how bad I'm doing this. I never said I was an expert. I know, let's do cucumbers. Let's do, let's plant a couple cucumber seeds, see if they grow faster or better than the uh, ones that are coming up in the pots. Look how wet that is. Look how nice that is underneath there. Look how nice and dry that is on top. How easy that is to walk on. These will climb really easy. These are what we dried out of those pickling cucumbers last year. Just like everything else, just kind of space, just kind of space them out. Make sure they have good contact with the soil. A little soil on top of them. Roost carrots are the only thing I'm patting right now. Okay, see what we get. April 9th, we did take care of a few odds and ends. Weatherman says it's gonna be 32 degrees on Sunday morning. Do not want to chance the warmer weather crops yet. Next week will be just fine. Remember, when you're gardening, you have to be patient. You also have to be flexible. While we're in this time, right before Easter, and what that means to everybody. Keep your family close, stay at home, stay safe. What's going on in the news is awful. We will get through this together. Get a little sun, get a little exercise. Come garden with me, stay safe, and we'll see you on the next episode. God bless you, see you later. Come on, let's plant. Let's go plant garden. Hey, Alan, I told you it'd be a saga. It's only April 9th. This is gonna go on till September. We might actually get a little something out of this. Nights ago, took some of the lettuce in, had a salad. I'm still here. Obviously, with the social distancing we've got going on, some of our plans have changed. We might not be able to go see Tater's outfit, 
Don't know if we can get Bear out here. He might just drive by and toss some stuff off the side. This might not be able to bring us any more palm trees. Which is okay, because these two he got me right now, they're not growing any fruit, so I don't know what good they are. Now that was funny, Wes. 